guys, it's Lindsay here with Pilates On Demand. I'm bringing you a glutes on the wall workout. So this is going to be high rep, super fun, super burny in the legs. You just need a wall. Let's not waste any time. We're gonna get right into it. So lay on your back. We're gonna place the feet on the wall with the feet apart and the knees knock together. Knees should be right over your hips for all of the bridges. Arms pressed down into the mat. We've got one minute on of each exercise. It is 20 exercises. Here we go. So keeping those knees together, feet apart, you're gonna bridge your hips up and then lower your hips down. I want you to exhale, lift, squeeze at the top, and inhale, lower. Good, make sure not to rush it. Pause at the top. That's what's gonna get those glutes to fire. More time under tension at the top. Good work, guys. So I don't really care how many reps you do of each one. I'd rather you hold the squeeze a little bit longer. Good. Back is staying flat, so it's moving up and down in one piece. Nice work, guys. We've got about 15 seconds. And we'll switch to our second move. Just like that, one out of 20 is done. Last one right here. Squeeze, take it down. First position feet, so like a little pizza pie slice, heels together, toes and knees apart, knees over hips. We lift, hold, big squeeze at the top, and lower. Try to squeeze your heels together here too. That's gonna help you find that glute connection. Good, press that whole foot into the wall. And this whole workout is bridging, no pelvic curls. The, so the spine will stay in that flat position. Just to keep it simple, focus on the booty. Make sure you keep your abs nice and tight here, flatten the belly. Good job. Okay, last two. Last one. Okay, let's go parallel. So at the bottom, feet point straight up. Hips distance apart. Lift the hips. Lower the hips. Okay, when your butt touches the floor, your low back should be slightly arched. That's the neutral spine. That's that flat back position we're going for. Okay, I'm just beginning to feel the back of my legs talk to me. We got a lot more to get done. <laughs> but we are officially warm. And then make sure not to clench the jaw, your shoulders or your neck here. When your hips lift, there should still be weight on your upper back. So make sure you're not so high up that your upper back is off the ground and you're on your neck. That isn't good. The last one. Okay, we're staying parallel. Slide your feet a little bit lower towards the floor and come onto your toes so your heels are off the wall. Then we're gonna lift and lower. Put your big toe into the wall so you don't roll onto the outer edge of the foot. Woo, I feel this one. Breathe in on the way down, and breathe out on the way up. Nice work, guys. Okay, we got about 15 seconds. We're cruising through this. Okay, last two. One more, last one. Okay, we're going back to hips on the floor. Wide second position. Toes and knees point to the top corners of the room and we'll lift our feet up and down. Hips go up and down. Good, push the whole foot into the wall and find that pause at the top.
Okay, a lot of times I like to exhale through my mouth, especially if I'm feeling tension in my jaw or my shoulders. That breath out of the mouth, like opening the mouth up, usually helps release the facial muscles. So give it a try if you're feeling, you know, any tension because we are pressing up and using our arms, our upper back to stabilize. Last one. Okay, we're gonna go heels on the wall, but same position with the feet. So heels on the wall, toes off. Dig your heels into the wall, lift your hips, and then we lower those hips down. That I'm starting to get the shakes. That's a good sign. <laughs> it means it's working. Exhale, lift, and lower. So I like to contract harder at the top. So more squeeze at the top, little release on the way down. Nice work. We have got a hold coming up in about 15 seconds. You're gonna pick your favorite position of all the ones we've just done, and you're gonna hold your hips up for one minute. Okay, let's take it there now. I'm gonna go wide second position, toes and knees turned out, push your feet into the wall, and lift your hips. This is a static hold. Use the back of the arms, open the collarbone, and really try to squeeze your tush, your thighs, and push your pelvis up to the ceiling. Good, use the back of the arms to help you. Nice work, guys. You've got less than 35 seconds right here, and we are coming into some single leg work. Nicely done, smooth that breathing out. Make sure the neck is nice and long. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, almost there. Three, two, and one. Hips come down, parallel hips distance. Okay, we're going marching single leg bridges. So right leg tabletop, drive through your left foot, we lift the hips, hold. Lower your hips, place your right foot parallel hips distance, lift the left leg, push into that right foot, and hold. Okay, a little bit more advanced option would be the leg that is lifting up is to straighten it towards the ceiling. Also more advanced is to hold longer at the top. So pick what you need today and go for it. These single leg movements will definitely start to show you if you have any weakness or imbalance. So if one side's a little harder or a lot harder, you know, it's, it's good. Then that side gets to get stronger because it doesn't have the other leg to rely on. Okay, let's go one more each way. Breathing out and breathing in. Last one. Okay, we're gonna stay on your left leg. We've got just left leg, single leg, parallel hips distance, right leg straight up or tabletop. Okay, drive through that left foot, tap your tailbone down, and then drive straight back up and hold. Breathe in, tap. Breathe out, lower. <sighs> Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Okay, make sure your knee is tracking straight over the center of the foot and the whole foot pushes into the wall. Good job, guys. Two more. Last two. And last one. Good, take it all the way down. Place your right foot on the wall, hips distance parallel. Extend that left leg straight up. That should feel good. And then drive through that right foot. We lift, hold, and then lower down. Okay, guess what? This is halfway. This move takes us halfway through the workout. So if you've got that far, I'm super proud of you. I know it's not easy, but hey, if you wanna get those glutes, growing and glowing, 
This is what we're here for. <laughs> okay, try to keep your hips level at the top too. Okay, let's go up for a few more on this right leg. Then we take it from the top with a major twist. It's only gonna get spicier from here. <laughs> okay, last one. Drive all the way up, big squeeze, and take it all the way down. Okay, so we're into the knock kneed position with your knees together and your feet apart. Toes can slightly angle in, we've got a neutral spine. Okay, so I want you to lift your hips, we're staying lifted. I'm gonna bring my feet a little higher. And we're up, okay. You're going to move your knees apart one inch and then squeeze them really tight. Move them apart one inch, squeeze them really tight. The whole time, your butt is tight, yeah? So this is gonna give us a little bit of inner thigh work. So this whole class is buns, thighs and hips, right? So the squeeze of the knees together, creating that pressure, is an isometric contraction. And that is gonna help us tone it up. Big squeeze and release. Nice work. Okay, three more for three, two, one. Okay, hips come down, Pilates V. Heels together, toes slightly apart, lift up. You're gonna squeeze your knees and toes together and then let them slide against the wall and just separate small. Squeeze all the way in and open. Clamshell action. Okay, but you're driving your feet into the wall to keep the hips up. Yeah, so try not to let your hips drop when you open the knees. Yeah, just keep them lifted. So these buns are in a static hold. Nice job, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay, give me three more. Three, hips up. Two, last one. Lower the hips down. Okay, parallel hips distance apart. Lift your hips up. We are going for a isometric contraction. So your hips do not lower and lift. Your butt squeezes, releases. Squeezes, releases. So it's like you've got a slip of paper between your glutes and you're holding it tighter and then barely releasing. Good, so it's a muscular contraction, but not a movement that you can necessarily see a bunch from just looking at my body. But maybe you can see the glutes kind of like jumping as I tighten into them. You got it, squeeze, release. Squeeze, release, drive those hips up. Push down into those arms. Woo! Good, give me six, and five, four, I'm feeling my inner thighs. Three, two, and one. Lower the hips, slide the feet down just a little bit, come to your toes. Calves are squeezing, we lift up. So now, squeeze your buns, you're going to squeeze your thighs. So I want you to think of pulling your kneecaps up, releasing. So this is quad VMO isometric contraction. Okay, it's definitely a mind-muscle connection, mind-body connection. So my right quad is a little bit more developed. But if you can see when I squeeze my quads, they kind of lift up. Okay, breathe out. Breathe in. Now the pelvis is still, so it's not that, right? We are holding those hips up. You got it. Let's pick it up for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Lower those hips down. We're going wide second position. Toes and knees turned out. You're lucky, it's your hip lifts. I know you guys are ready to do this, so we're gonna pulse up an inch, down an inch. Now I want you to squeeze your thighs and your butt as you did this. So we set this movement up, right? We worked the quad squeeze, we worked the glute squeeze. See if you can hold onto that right here. Go ahead, push down into those forearms. We lift and lift, you got it. 
Squeeze up. We got five minutes left. Let's take it home. Up and up. Okay, let's pick the pace up to finish this round. Lift and lift. We got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hips come down. So we're going to go onto the heels now. Lift your hips up into the bridge. We're doing single hip lifts to the right, to the left. You're drawing a little U with your pelvis. You drop down, you lift to the top left corner. You drop down, you lift to the top right corner. Good. As you lift your hip, you're digging that heel into the wall. That's going to help you connect. Good. Nice work. Good. Little cha-cha move right here. <laughs> Good work. Let's go a little quicker. That tempo starts to really burn things out, right? Squeeze lift. Squeeze lift. Okay, after this, we have a hold. Good, side to side. So we've got our hold. This is our last double leg movement, and then we move into single legs. In four, three, two, one. Come to center, lower it down, plant your whole foot on the wall. You can pick your favorite position. Neutral spine, we're gonna drive up. I want you to squeeze your butt as tight as you can. That's your focus for 20 seconds. Push into the hands. Squeeze those glutes together. Make sure we're still relaxed in that upper body. Okay, you can keep your glutes tight, but now we're gonna focus on those quads, just holding. So we're not pulsing it, we're squeezing it the whole time. An isometric hold. Good work, guys. Okay, we're gonna finish it up by keeping the glute and the quad squeeze and adding those hip lifts. So I need 20 right here. We take it to single leg to finish this workout up. Woo, up and up. Let's go for 10, nine, eight, you got it, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Last three moves. Okay, parallel hips distance. We take it into marching. So bring your left leg up. Lift the right thigh, and we give two pulses at the top. Pulse, pulse. Lower it down, switch legs. Left foot plants in line with the hip. Right leg tabletop, pulse, pulse. Okay, so what I kind of set us up for is that pulse, pulse is two squeezes of that thigh and that glute. So see if you can connect to that. The more we connect to the muscle mentally, the more muscle fiber we are firing, the more results you're gonna get. Lift, lift. Okay guys, we got 20 seconds. Then we got those single leg pulses to take it home. Up, up. Good, to the right, squeeze, squeeze. Last one, to the left, squeeze, squeeze. Lower it down, plant the right foot parallel hips distance, reach that left leg straight up to the sky. Hips are up, one minute. Pulse the hips, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the thigh, and level that pelvis. Good, breathe in and out. You got it. Okay, so you're taking it home on the right leg. This is it for the right leg. You're gonna give me 40 seconds right here. Let's stay at the top when we transition. I like to end with a bang. Let's really deserve that break. Lift and lift. Squeeze it up. <sighs> nice job, guys. We got 20 seconds. Let's go to tempo, up and up. A little faster. Okay, for 10. Last five, four, don't drop, three, two, stay up, big squeeze, place that left foot in line with the hip, reach that right leg up to the sky, and this is it, final minute of work here. I'm starting to sweat and slide away from the wall. <laughs> Good. Remember, the hip lift is combined with that sits bone wrapping underneath you. That's how you get your booty to grow and shape. Okay, 40 seconds. Breathe in and out. Really push that foot into the wall. 
go for the gold. You ready to pick the pace up? And four, three, two, one. Let's pick it up and take it to the finish line. We got 20 seconds right here. I know you can do it. You've come this far. Let's get it. Okay, let's really push for that final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Whoa, take it down. Oh my gosh, do you feel your touch? Me too. Okay, so just move it a little bit. Bring your left heel lower so your knee and your heel line up and cross your right ankle over that left thigh. Now, if you're really tight in your hips, you'll move further out. If you're looser, I'm a little bit more flexible in this position, so I'm gonna move closer in. Try to get your butt down, sit into your hips. Press the right knee open. Good job, 20 minutes of buns on the wall, glutes on the wall. So the elevation um, basically allows us to hit the legs from a different angle rather than having the feet on the floor. It's always important to mix that, mix that up. Muscle confusion's good. I think variety in the workout is helpful to keep you coming back. Let's change sides. So right foot on the wall, back up if you're tight, left ankle over and see how I lift my hips, push them back down and take that left knee towards the wall. Um, yeah, so mixing workouts up. That's why, you know, I love Pilates. I think it should be the basis of all movements to keep yourself safe. But I like throwing in all the props, doing yoga, cross train, running, hike, weights, all of it. Okay, I feel a happy baby. Happy baby or straddle. So wide knees like so. Grab the edges of the feet, your shins, or hold behind the thighs. You can take it nice and wide. Whew, yeah, we got the inner thighs today too, huh? And now straight up to the ceiling, hold the back of the legs and push your legs straight towards the wall. So instead of going here and letting the knees bend, get the hamstrings really straight. We worked to them today. Take a big breath in and a deep breath out and roll it up to a seat. Good work, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me for Pilates on the wall or glutes on the wall, I suppose. I hope you had a great workout. Please let me know in the comments what you thought of it. And please subscribe. I really appreciate it. That is the number one way to support my channel here on YouTube. So without further ado, I'll see you on the next workout. Bye, guys.